You are such an asshole! Everybody, the old captain here, uh, and we have uh, a Clary test. You guys remember those Clary tests uh, from an anonymous man? Uh, he says, "I wanted you to read this article and then respond to the article, then do a Clary test on Molly Crabapple. How much would that cost? Keep me anonymous." Article. He links to the Guardian, and um, I basically said, "I am not going to link to the Guardian, nor am I going to read her work, because the Guardian is basically a biased leftist piece of shit rag." I don't say that to be pejorative. I say it to be descriptive. It's not a journalistic entity. Uh, it's propaganda. Uh, and so I refuse to send them any traffic. And I'm not going to read Molly Crabapple's article because I remember looking her up before. And I do have to apologize in advance. This, this guy is, is well overdue for a Clary test. So we're going to look up Molly Crabapple. And you say, dude, what the hell is the Clary test? Well, the Clary test, if you are unfamiliar with it, <clears throat> is a four-question test that I came up with, even though I put up two fingers. That, determined, that I used to determine whether or not I'm even going to listen to a politician. Now, it also ended up becoming a rather good test to find out whether you should trust people or not. And so these four questions uh, you ask, and you want, to, you want them to respond in the negative and not the affirmative. You want a low score on this test. Okay. So the first question is, do you come from rich parents? If you come from rich parents, you get a point. That's bad. You don't want that. I understand people... Contestants are like, well, kids aren't controlled by who they're born into. Yeah, but the parents sure still spoil the fuck out of them. So when rich little spoiled kids from the suburbs get born, they tend to be royal pains in the asses. And they, they tend to lack the empathy or sympathy, I don't know the difference, for their fellow man. They're very spoiled. They're very self-absolved. They just, I don't like them. Uh, every once in a while there's a rich kid that's all right. But for the most part, trust funders are assholes. And they're lazy fucks too. Second question is, what did they study in college? All right. This is another character test because if you say, I'm going to study engineering, I'm going to study science, I'm going to study accounting, I'm going to study programming, I'm going to study medicine, that means you are willing to work hard. And I might add, in a somewhat selfless manner, although you'll be highly compensated for these fields, I'm going to produce something that crazy ideal liberal arts majors, some fucking society wants. So if you get a liberal arts major, an English major, a teacher, or some other lazy dipshit type of major. That, that's them confessing to the world that I'm a lazy fuck and I want the rest of the world to pay me to live. So make a government work job for me. I want to work for a nonprofit. I don't want to produce anything anybody wants, but I'm going to either live off of taxpayers who are forced at the gun to pay me, uh, or I'm going to live off a of charity in which people really don't want to give you the money, but they feel guilty. So you're a parasite either way. Second question. Do you have any real-world private sector experience? If you are a lifelong government employee working at the social office, helping the children, or uh, working your 180 days a year uh, with summers off as a teacher, uh, no, that does not count as real work. The only type of government work that counts uh, in this particular test is things like police, firefighters, military where there's actual real risk and actual real work but if you're a librarian sorry no that's not a real fucking job and then the uh, fourth question is what are you currently doing now all right are you currently working uh as an engineer are you is is uh do you go to the accounting office and do your accountancy or are you a career politician or are you a uh, non-profit uh, peace corps type of self-administrative type of person there's a little bit of wiggle room in this because we know some people, they work very long and then they become politicians. And if you've been only a politician, say like one or two terms, there's a little bit of forgiveness and leniency there. But if all you've done is, I'm in theater, man, and I'm like a musician, man, and that's all you did, or you're a lifelong politician, you, you, you get a point. So uh, very few people score well on this. I think it, uh, Rex Tillerson is one of the people that got a perfect score. Old mafia bosses got perfect scores because they came up from poverty and worked real jobs, albeit illegal. And politicians obviously score the worst, uh, life or career politicians. So Molly Crabapple, we'll just go to Wikipedia, and sometimes we don't find out all the information about this. Molly Crabapple, oh, she's so, so Sylvia Plathy. Alma mater, Fashion Institute of Technology. Okay, so worthless degree right there. There's a point. Uh, Jennifer, or Molly Crabapple, Apple. Born Jennifer Caban, is an artist and writer living in New York. 
She's a contributing editor for Vice. Oh, that's worthless. I mean, I know that's private sector, but that's that's just a tabloid. Has written for the New York Times, Paris Review, Vanity Fair, The Guardian, CNN. Okay, you see, we're talking fake news. We're not. We're talking biased leftist pieces of trash. And again, I'm not saying that because I'm a right winger or a libertarian. I'm saying it because you guys are liars. You're not journalists. You are propagandists. Have you guys wiped Obama's cum off your face yet? He's been gone for a while. Have you gone back to the fountain for more? It's tiny. Uh, her published works include Illustrated Memoir, Drawing Blood, Harper Collins, Discordia with Lori Penny. Oh, I remember her on the Greek economics crisis. Yeah, I'd like to read that. She speaks to audiences around the world in institutions such as the Museum of Modern Art, the London School of Economics, and the Harvard and Cohen. This is why you don't send your kid to uh, Ivy League schools either, or higher from that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she seems to have private sector. This is one of the gray areas. She has worked in the private sector. She hasn't worked for the government as far as we know, uh, but it's bullshit. It's like, it's like my job. It's not real. Um, so I'm going to give her at least a quarter point for a career, but we'll continue on. Early life. Let's see if she comes from rich parents. Uh, born bah, 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 to a Puerto Rican father and a Jewish mother who was the granddaughter of the Belarusian immigrant it's always weird how Wikipedia cares about who your parents were or who your great-grandparents were. Crab Apple began drawing at the age of four with guidance from her mother, an illustrator who worked on toy product packaging. At the age of 12, Crab Apple remembers herself as a snotty goth muppet and a pair of Doc Martens who blared whole on her Walkman, drew headless cheerleaders, and read Marquis de Sade in class. Her school diagnosed her with oppositional defiant disorder, just an absentee father, that's what we called it. And she was expelled in seventh grade, ba, 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 gothy, dorky, and hated. Yeah, they never liked her name, so she changed her name to Molly Crabapple after her boyfriend suggested after graduating 17 to travel to Europe. In Paris, she was welcomed by George Whitman, a proprietor of the English language book. Da, 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 she's an old book. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so at 17, she traveled to Europe. I'm going to say somewhat rich parents. That doesn't mean totally rich parents. Some middle-income people can afford to send their children at the age of 17 to Europe. Uh, that wasn't mine. I didn't get to Europe until a year and a half ago. I'm like, oh shit, there's a whole other continent here. What's going on, guys? Uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to say it, it doesn't delve into her parents too much more, but I'm going to assume, let's make it at least half a point because if you're 17 and going to Europe and you're going to go into art, like there's no, oh, worked at the grocery store or worked slinging coffee or worked as a bartender or a waitress, in order to pursue her career of writing, I'm going to assume mommy and daddy had a little bit of a war chest. Actually, you know what? If Yeah, now I think it's going to be a three-quarters of a point. Three-quarter point. So you have a worthless degree, and we have rich, relatively rich parents, certainly better than average. Uh, cra career. Uh, Crab Apple went on to work as a life model and a burlesque performer. Well, that's, that's, that's real-world experience. And modeled for the Society of Illustrators. At the age of 19, she was modeling for Suicide Girls and responded to ads in Craigslist for nude photographic modeling. It's kind of funny how the real world tells you what your real skills and what you're wanted for. It's Working as a model allowed... Okay, now here, this counters that. Now, if her parents, at the age of 19, she's working, she's basically posing nude, probably the parents didn't have. So I take that back. Let's scale that back down to uh, 25, or 0.25, a quarter point. Because if her parents were rich, she, she wouldn't be resorting to... Posing nude. I was going to say porn, but it's not porn. But let's just call it porn anyway. So we're at uh, 1.25. She briefly attended the Fashion Institute of Technology, but with the true during her third year. For four years, she worked as the house artist for The Box, a New York City nightclub. Crab Apple described her time at The Box as her artistic coming of age. Dr. Sketchy's anti-art school. You ever wonder if like these people have connections who are... Like, this is an unnotable career. Why has this person got a Wikipedia entry? And it leads me to believe that there's, like, this whole group of people who are Wikipedia authors, and they just make entries. And if you know these people, that's how you get in Wikipedia. It's not your life accomplishments, because this is... It's not only unmentionable, but it's rather detailed and lengthy. It's kind of like, well, what, what has she done yet? What's, what's the fucking accomplishment? I mean, like in 2005, she and illustrator A.V. Fives, I mean, you guys know that guy, right? Founded Dr. Sketchy's Anti-Art School, a burlesque draw, life drawing class, and the typical sketching 
session. Ours would drink alcohol, sketch burlesque miles, and play art games in a bar or venue. Like, who gives a shit? Comics, Occupy Wall Street, 2012, Art Projects, 2012, Illustrated Journalism, Book, Animation, in June of the same year, Crab Apple raised $25,800 U.S. dollars in front of That's not a lot of money, especially with her, quote, connections. This, I, again, why is this a, why is this person have a Wikipedia entry? Uh, she went over to the Middle East, got arrested at the Syrian border, unfortunately wasn't kidnapped by ISIS. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I don't know why, again, this is a person. Uh, but if we look at the score, uh, does she come from rich parents? Quarter percent, a quarter point. Probably not, but going off to Europe, oh, anything's good, too good for our daughter. Yeah, you can get flunked out. We're not going to discipline you. I'm just going to give it a quarter. Worthless degree. Now, actually, not bother even going to college. I would have, you get zero points. If you don't go to college, that's better than going to college and I'm gonna major in stupid shit. She went to college, major in stupid shit, got there. The real issue is, does she have any private sector experience and what is she currently doing now? Well, she is an artist and I would have to say she's probably living on her own. She is earning her way. She's not collecting a government check. It isn't charity or handout. Um, and you may find her artwork not artistic and bullshit and typical Sylvia Plath, you oh, it's so emo. I hate white males. I mean, you can see it. It's common. It's not unique. It's not creative. It may be against your politics. It may be garbage. But she's she's living, and she did work as a burlesque performer, and she worked she worked real jobs. Um, so the fact that she did work real jobs, uh, I she gets no point for that. Uh, so she's only at one point two five. And is she currently working a real job now? Yeah, but it's not a real career, which is why I'm going to award a quarter point there. So even though I know most of you would probably hate this person, I know I would probably hate this person if I thought more about her and, and wasn't paid to <laughs> think about her. <laughs> if you want to meet, pay me to hate her, go ahead to Asshole Consulting and send me, hey, can you hate her? Pay It's going to pay me a lot of money to waste my time hating this person. Um, she gets only a 1.5. So she, she may be a despicable person. She may be typical, and I'd say maybe lucky that she can actually have a career. Harper Collins, you know, she got a contract. Maybe she's got connections. I don't know. But I would say she has the right to hold whatever opinion she has because she's earned it. She's walked the walk and talked the talk. She's, she's been an artist and a successful one. And by successful, I mean she probably hasn't collected a welfare check. So unless anybody and somebody else knows different. Um, yeah, this person is one of the rare leftists, one of the rare liberals. Uh, that score is a pretty good score on the Clary test. So anyway, if you guys got questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. Go ahead and send me those over there. You can visit my blog, captaincapitalism.blogspot.com. You can read my books, uh, which I can guarantee you are much better, much more practical, and will certainly help you more in life uh, than Molly Crabapple's book. Uh, we have Batch of Pet Economics, Black Man's Got uh, Poverty, Worthless, Enjoy the Decline, and Reconnaissance Man. That's a really important one. Get Reconnaissance Man. And we got the Clary Podcast. You can go to uh, soundcloud.com or just search the Clary Podcast. Best of luck to all of you. Toodles.